In order to accurately plan maintenance repairs, you need to know what parts you have available to fix your vehicle. In the ESR, or Equipment Status Report, provides up-to-date information on exactly that in the quantity sections of the operation and component data. In previous videos, we've gone through an overview of the entire ESR and the basic meaning of each section. In this video, we'll dive a little deeper and go in how to analyze material availability. Near the center right of the ESR, on the component level, you'll see four columns that tell you everything you need to know about material availability in your organization. They are titled Quantity Ordered, Quantity On Hand, Quantity Issued, and Quantity Next Level. The numbers below them tell you how much of a part is available in each category, and if it's blank, then the number is zero. Quantity ordered is how much of a specific item you requested. It's important to understand that this doesn't necessarily mean that the parts have been paid for, it simply shows what you've asked for. When this number is blank, it means that nothing is being requested. And this can happen if your order is rejected or canceled at any time. Quantity on hand is how much of a specific part is in your maintenance section storage location, or SLOC. In layman's terms, it's the total number of items your maintenance section has available for use. And it includes shop stock, bench stock, and anything received from the supply support activity, or SSA, that has not already been issued. Quantity issued can be a bit deceptive, because it doesn't necessarily mean that an item was physically issued or handed to someone. This is because GCSS Army uses the term issue to convey any time stock changes accounting from one label to another. In the case of a quantity issued, GCSS Army has taken one item away from the maintenance sections on hand total and dedicated it to a specific vehicle. So instead of thinking of it as quantity issued, it may be easier to think of the column as quantity dedicated because it's the amount of an item that has been dedicated for a specific repair. Although this may seem unnecessary, this process exists to avoid double accounting. For instance, if two vehicles both had one screw ordered against them, but the maintenance section only had one on hand, the ESR would still reflect one on hand next to each vehicle until it's issued. Once the part is issued to one of the vehicles, the quantity on hand will become zero because there is no more in reserve, and the quantity issued will become one for only one of the work orders. Without this process, it can become very easy to think you can fix more vehicles than you actually have the capacity to do. Finally, quantity next level is how much of a specific part your SSA has. This is useful information to have for maintenance planning because it lets you know that any part stocked at the SSA will be immediately available for use once it's paid for and processed. It's sort of like using an online website to see how much of a stock is available at your local store before you leave the house. Overall, GCSS Army uses all these numbers to determine if you have stock available at your own organization to fix a vehicle, or if you need to have a part shipped to you. To determine this on your own is simple. First, look at the number of quantity ordered. Then, look to see if there is enough on hand in the quantity on hand and issued columns to fulfill the order. If it does, no part is ordered because you have it on hand. If you don't have enough at your organization, then look to see if your SSA has it in stock at the next level. If it does, the part will be ordered and pulled directly from the SSA for your use. Finally, if there's no availability in any of the columns on hand, issued, or next level, then the part gets ordered from national stocks and gets shipped to your SSA. In our next video, we'll go over how to track the parts ordering process using reference document numbers. For more information on the ESR, review the End User Manual Plus at gcss.army.mil. And for more information on maintenance management, review ATP 4-33, Maintenance Operations, and DA PAM 750-3, Field Maintenance Operations. Available at armypubs.army.mil.